Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you how to enable Bash Ubuntu on Windows. Uh, this is a new feature that would allow uh, web developers and people that work on um, open source projects to actually um, run Linux uh, commands natively on Windows 10. This is a feature is going to uh, come uh, on the Windows 10 anniversary update but on Windows 10 build 14.3.1.6 and later uh, you can actually enable this feature on your computer so you can uh, test and start like you know playing with uh, uh, with this new feature so uh, the first thing you have to do is to open settings and then we need to go to update and security then go to for developers and you need to enable this option developer mode once you do that, you click yes to turn it on. And then you just leave that, that as it is. Then you right click the uh, start uh, the start button and go to programs and features. Then click on turn uh, Windows features on and off. And then we scroll down and you want to check the uh, Windows subsystem uh, for Linux beta and that will and click OK and that will install the required modules to run uh, bash on Windows uh, this will require to uh, restart your computer so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come and uh, come back and finish um, and finish installing the uh, uh, um, bash on Windows. All right, so um, I just uh, logged in back onto my account after the restart, and now we can actually go to command prompt. And let me just, just in case, let's do this in an administrator mode. I'm just gonna right click and click command prompt admin. Click yes, and then we just need to type bash. And there we go, it's installed. Um, I have installed it before on this computer, so if the, if it is the first time that you actually uh, running the Bash um, uh, shell command line utility, uh, you will be asked to download um, some software from Canonical uh, to make everything work. Just uh, uh, press yes when you're asked, and that will download and install everything automatically and then you can just start running your uh, Linux commands on Windows 10 for example like ls to make a list of all the uh, all the files and as you can see right there it's working and let me s I should have should have used uh, another switch for that let me see if I did all right let me just uh, minimize that and go to another and do bash. Let's see if that. Let's let's do some. Let's be release. Okay. And there you go. So we are running the Ubuntu 14.04 for LTS. We're using the um, release version 14.04, and we got the code name right there. So there you go, that's all you have to do after you've done uh, the steps, you'll be able to run uh, na um, Linux uh, commands natively on Windows 10. So I hope this video was informative for you and I'll have to thank you for viewing.